Hey guys, and uh, welcome to my first tutorial on this channel. And today, I decided I was going to do a tutorial that I haven't seen a lot of people do. It's how to make a timer in Minecraft. And I thought this would be a good tutorial to do, to uh, help you guys out a little bit. So, I'm going to be showing you how to make multiple different timers, going from easiest to hardest. And one more quick thing before the video starts, there will be timestamps in the description, so if you need to get a to a specific point in the video, just click on those. Without further ado, now let's get into the video. But before we start doing anything, we're going to have to actually make or set up some scoreboards, because it's basically the bread and butter for this whole entire tutorial. So all you're going to need to do is open the chat, type slash scoreboard objectives add you can call this whatever you want so you're just gonna I'm just gonna name it ticks um, so you're actually gonna need two scoreboards so make sure they're different names and make sure this one's gonna be for the ticks in the background that you're not gonna see and my second scoreboard is actually what you're gonna see so make sure to name it what you want people to see but you're not gonna see this so it doesn't matter so I'm gonna name it ticks and then I'm going to put dummy and the as the actual objective, which just means that this scoreboard can be controlled by commands. You're gonna hit enter, and there you go. And now just bring that command up again, and instead of ticks this time, I'm gonna put it to time. And this is also going to be a dummy. So there you go. Now you have two scoreboards. Now uh, we have to do one more thing. I have to add, you have to add yourself or another player to uh, the ticks or whatever you named your scoreboard. So we're gonna do slash scoreboard again. This time, make sure to hit players and hit add. And I'm just gonna do my username, or you could do at a at e anything. Um, it doesn't matter. And I'm gonna add. You have to add yourself to the ticks. Uh, and you have to give yourself a beginning score, so my score will be 1. And after you've done that, also make sure to set it so that you can see your actual time. So to do that, just do slash scoreboard, objectives, set display, and put it wherever you want. I'll do sidebar for now. And uh, make sure to put it on the one that you actually want to show what your actual time is. So mine's time. And there you go. It's not showing, but if I were to do that now, it's showing. And you can actually see the time that you have. Okay, now that you know all that and you've done all the typing you need to, you're finally ready to actually begin the tutorial. So in the last clip, you probably saw a little bit of the first uh, timer. So. Basically, what it is, it's five repeaters going around in a loop, all of them on four ticks. So in total, it's 20 ticks because a sec um, 20 ticks is equal to a second. And basically, this command block just has scoreboard, uh, scoreboard players add my username, time one. So what that basically means is Every time this goes around, so one second, every second that this goes around it is going to be adding uh, one to time. So if I place down a redstone torch here, as you can see, as it goes around, I am getting more time. Now, how this cannot be the most ideal thing is if you're making a data pack uh, you can't just have redstone in a data pack so that's why this might not work or if you're doing something and you just like don't want to use redstone anywhere or you, like you don't have enough space or you can't hide it anywhere really good then this solution might not be it for you but I mean it's pretty easy to set up doesn't need a lot, so that's why it's the easiest. And the second way to make a timer 
is by using three repeating command blocks. So what you're going to do is in the first one, you're going to put scoreboard, players, add, your username or friends, ticks, one. Now make sure to put ticks and not time like the last one, because if you do, then uh, your time will be going very fast, uh, the same speed as a tick in Minecraft, which is just very fast, and that's not a second. If you want to do ticks, then you can just put it as that, but we're going for seconds here. And in the second command block, we are going to put execute if score uh, your username or friends ticks matches 20 dot dot which just means 20 uh, 20 or more so uh, like if it has 20 or more score uh, run scoreboard uh, run scoreboard players add uh, a username time one so that means that it will just add one to your time now uh, in the set in the third one you're going to put the same f first half execute if score username tags matches 20 run scoreboard and then in the last half instead of putting add what you're going to do is put reset so basically what you're going to do is it's giving you a tick and when it reaches 20 it's going to give you plus one on your time and then it's going to get rid of it so make sure to activate these things uh so how i activated them is make sure to activate this one first then this one because if you do them in a different order then this will be getting rid of the score too fast. Uh, well, it'll be getting rid of the score before this one could add one to your time. And then with these two activated in that order, then activate this one. And if I, if you look at my time, it each second it'll go up. So if you're making a parkour map or like you're trying to uh, time something, this could be very useful. But the one downside to it is if once it does get over 60, uh, like once it gets over 60, then uh, it'll just keep going until like 61. So the next solution will help you. Okay, so to make uh, the clock uh, count like minutes and seconds at the same time, what you're going to want to do is you're going to do slash scoreboard players add and instead of choosing someone from this list here we're going to make our own player so we're going to, I'm going to do seconds and we're going to give it a score of 1 to begin with oh I forgot to put I'm going to give it a time of 1 to begin with and then I'm going to add minutes and put it to time and give it one. So now we have seconds and minutes. Um, so now we can actually give, uh, and, uh, like, we can actually see minutes and seconds. And if you really wanted to, which I don't think you really need to, but you could do hours. But I'll actually show you guys now how to actually uh, make it so that once seconds gets to 60, it goes, it puts on one minute. Okay, so you only need two more command blocks to actually make this work. And um, I'll show you what are in these two command blocks um, soon. But you do have to change one thing in this command block. Instead of it being your username or friends, change it to seconds. Um, that's that's all you need for that uh, the second command block. So now onto the fourth and the fifth. 
So in the fourth command, uh, in the yeah fourth command block, do execute if score seconds time matches sixty, uh, which is basically just what's in all the other ones. You're going to run a scoreboard players add minutes time one. So that's just basically saying uh, you're adding a one to minutes. Then in this one, uh, you're basically doing execute if score time matches 60 was was in the last one. Uh, score uh, run. Well, you're gonna run scoreboard player set seconds time zero. Now the reason we're not doing uh, reset like uh, the last command block is because when you reset it, you actually it actually gets rid of it until you get another score. And it would just look really annoying if the second just kept going, if it went off for like a second. So, but by setting it to zero, the score will actually show zero. Um, so that's the reason why. But if I give this a power source right here, as you can see, it's going to go up, and once it reaches 60, now there's four minutes. And as you can see, the score was set to, was actually at zero for a second. And yeah, that is how you can make a work, you can make a working uh, stopwatch in Minecraft. So if you guys found this video useful, consider leaving a like since it really helps my new channel out, and I'll see you next time.